Podcast Network Asia. When is the time to end a relationship? And how do you move on from the pain? This is the 22nd episode of the Major Major Podcast with Venus Ra. To all our followers on Instagram and TikTok, thank you so much for the love and your support. And of course, special thanks to our major sponsor, MX3. Last week, we've heard the story of PK of Pampanga. We're here to continue with a conversation with her in this next episode. Welcome back. Hi again, Hello Ate V. <laughs> Parang nakakatakot yung intro. How do you move on from the pain? <laughs> Kasi marami din sa mga nakikinig sa atin. Um, they're sending letters about their relationship and may mga break up and all that. Tapos ngayon, maraming nagbe-break. So parang, hindi natin alam, ano ba ito? <laughs> Bakit maraming nagbe-break na mga relationships ngayon? Yeah, breakup season. I hope not for everyone. <laughs> of course not for everyone. <laughs> not for everyone. But can you give me, can you give us a, maybe only, only the story that you're comfortable to share um, about your previous relationship and what happened and then um, later on, let's talk about you know, the journey, kung paano talaga mag-move forward ang isang anak ng Panginoon. Mm, so, just just a quick background siguro yeah. para lang maintindihan ng listeners natin why this means so, so much to me. Yeah. Um, yun nga, na-mention natin from the previous episode that I came from a broken family. Yeah. And not only that, pati yung parents ng mami ko ay broken marriage din. Oh. So, can you imagine? Sobrang takot ko talaga. Sobrang takot ko na the cycle would repeat sa akin. Mm-hmm. And syempre, na-experience ko yung pain of being in a broken family. And yeah. simula bata ako, yun na yung tinatak ko talaga sa mind ko na for me, it won't happen again. Mm-hmm. And hindi pala siya ganun kadaling gawin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially if if you have childhood wounds yeah. that you're still healing from. And yon. So, ang previous relationship ko, hindi na ako siguro magde-delve deeper yeah. into it. Pero basically, ang nangyari sa akin is, is I didn't know what a healthy relationship looks like. Because yeah. I didn't have that model growing up. Yeah. Kasi nga, six years old pa lang ako, hiwalay na yung parents ko. So yung tingin ko, yung idea ko mm-hmm. of what a relationship is, medyo crooked, mm-hmm. medyo tagilid. Yeah. Um, so, ang nangyari, I had... Um, yung first relationship ko was a six-year relationship. Mm-hmm. I was too young. I was 15 when I entered wow. it. Though it lasted, pero syempre, hindi nag-end in marriage. Yeah. Um, and I've been single for six years after that. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, Lord, ready na. <laughs> Kaya na. <laughs> Ilang taong ka nun? Ilang taong ka nun? Ah, so, this 15, was... 17, 18, 18, 18, 21. Mm-mm. Tapos matagal akong single ulit. Mm-hmm. And then, 2022... 27 yeah. na ako. Yun Magkakilala na, na tayo nito. Na tayo. <laughs> Magkakilala na tayo. Uh-huh. Hindi pa ako nag, nag-ask ng advice from you. Uh-huh. Wala. Kasi um, that was yung tingin kong tama. Uh-oh. For me, wala namang mali. Yeah. So, ayun. I entered into a relationship with with high hopes na yeah. ah, baka siya na. Yeah. Ganon. And this guy also came from a broken family. So mm-hmm. feeling ko parehas kami ng hugot. Mm-hmm. Parehas kami ng gusto. So it it probably would work out. Yeah. Pero yun nga, ang nangyari lang is na-expose yung wounds namin parehas. Mm-hmm. So nangyari, hindi siya healthy. Yeah. And it did not honor God. Yeah. Um, so yun, so, so 
actually interesting kung paano kami nag-break. Mm-hmm. I was praying for it for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga may mga red flags na. Pero ito si ate girl. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Laban. <laughs> Ilaban hanggang dulo. Oo. So, yun nga. Hindi ko alam kasi. Akala ko normal yung ganon. Yeah. So, I really fought for it. To the point na um, nag-download kami ng app. Mm-hmm. Just so we could feel connected. Alam mm-hmm. mo yun? Kasi mm-hmm. conversations, hindi, hindi masyadong okay. Yeah. And... Basta inaral ko lahat kasi nga naging parang obsession ko siya mm-hmm. growing up. So inaral ko yung love languages, wow. inaral ko yung <laughs> lahat ng attachments tests. <laughs> ginawa mo. <laughs> Buti nga hindi na horoscope eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> hindi Pero na. Pero mga hindi zodiac, na. zodiac. Oh, hindi na ako nagmatch ng zodiac uh. sign. Buti na lang hindi na. Ayun, um, inaral ko lahat. So when I finally entered the relationship, Nilaban ko talaga. Yeah. Dumating pa sa point na nag-counseling um, kami, mga yeah. gano'n, na hindi, yeah. hindi necessary yeah. at that point because it was just a very young relationship. Yeah. We only lasted for five months officially. Yeah. Yeah. Pero gano'n na ang investment ni ate yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nag-research ka pa. <laughs> gano'n na kalaki yung investment ni ate oh. girl. Um, so, Basta dumating pa sa point na yung ex niya, hinahabol siya, oh, mga ganun. Okay. Basta it was, it was a roller coaster. Yeah. It was extreme. It was intense. Yeah. Um, pero yun nga, I've been praying for it. Yeah. And nung time na to kasi, hindi na ako masyado nakaka-attend sa D-group uh-uh. natin. Uh-uh. Kasi face-to-face na. Yeah. Yun. Tapos, so ano ako, parang in-invite ako ng friend ko. Mm-hmm. Doon sa church ko ngayon. Mm-hmm. And... When I went there, I was yun yung struggle ko at that moment. Yeah. Should I stay in this relationship? Yeah. And then when I went to church, ang pinakaunang ang topic mm-hmm. was marriage and relationships. Wow. So perfect words that I needed at the perfect time. Yeah. And right after that, um, pagka dating sa parking lot, pagka upu sa sa sakyan, tawag ako. Hello. Break na tayo. <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> Walang explanation. <laughs> Hindi naman gano'n. Ah, I mean, okay, okay, okay. I was, I was, kinausap ko naman yeah. siya ng maayos. Pero, long story short. That's the point. Nakipag-break yeah. ako right after that, that, ano, that, Um, talk. Yeah. Kasi actually, at TV, di ba you sponsored me for a retreat? <laughs> Nako, sinabi mo. Charat mo. <laughs> Ay, bawal. No, 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 no. Bawal sabihin. Okay. You sponsored me for a retreat. Mm-hmm. Before that retreat, I was actually already praying for it. If itutuloy oh, ko. Oh, wow. And God already answered me wow. at that time. And that retreat? Be- the, day the day before the retreat. Oh, wow. Very loud yung sagot. I didn't listen. Mm-hmm. So, kasalanan ko naman kasi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kasalanan ko naman. Pero, no regrets. no regrets. If there are lessons, or maybe one major lesson that you have learned from, you know, the things that had happened, uh, even from your previous relationship when you were still younger, and then the most recent one, ano yun? Um, pinaka-important talaga is... Kasi diba, sa world natin, we are looking for the right person. Yeah. Na nakakalimutan natin na possible na tayo, hindi pa tayo right person. Yeah. So I think instead of focusing on looking for the right person, we should focus on being the right person. Yeah. And for me, um, that happened nga when I started my healing journey and restoration yeah. journey. With knowing the Lord. Yeah. And dun ko din nalaman um, what a healthy relationship should look like. Mm-hmm. Not only, of course, with with the teachings of the church, but with the models that I have around me. Yeah. Nakakatuwa talaga, nakakatuwa. Yeah. Na meron na ako ngayong mga, mga couples na yeah. tinitignan na yeah. ah, ganito pala. Yeah. Tapos recently nga, ang... Um, narinig ko lang sa preaching din, na let, sabi dito, let the success of others serve as an inspiration yeah. for you. Because if it can happen for others, yeah. then it can happen for you too. Wala namang imposible. That's true. 
Um, so, right. <laughs> So you are um, obviously a very beautiful woman of God and and a marrying age na din. Di natin sasabihin kung ilan, pero <laughs> you are at that point in your life where people are already probably asking, um, bakit hindi ka pa, well, hindi ka pa nag And maybe some of your friends are already married or maybe already getting married. Um, how do you handle the pressure when it comes to, you know, relationships? Actually, if if siguro hindi pa ako ganito ka deep mm-hmm. in my spiritual journey, yeah. I would probably feel bad and pressured. Because yeah. yeah. sa barkada namin, uh, three of them are engaged. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is looking to get engaged. Actually, two of them looking to get engaged. Yung isa kakakasal lang. Mm-hmm. So, nung kasal ng friend ko, I was... 11th wheel. Record breaking. Eleventh. <laughs> <laughs> 11th wheel. Record breaking. Pero yun nga, um, instead of, instead of looking at it na nahuhuli ako, yeah. I think of it as, um, I think of it as binigay nga sa akin yung mga healthy relationships na to. And yeah. I'm very grateful that my friends are in healthy relationships. Yeah. Because in the longest time, for the longest time, worry ko is yun nga, paano kung di ko alam kung paano yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. And they're there yeah. to show me what a healthy relationship looks like. Yeah. So now, ang, ang thinking ko na lang is, there are more things that need to heal. Yeah. That I need to heal. Marami pa akong wounds na kailangan ayusin, may binabago pa sa akin. Mm-hmm. And, kung binigay sa akin ngayon yeah. yung relationship na yun, baka hindi ko din masustain. Yeah. So, mas okay lang na maghintay ng mas yeah. matagal yeah. for me to be the right person yeah. so that I can be the right person for the right person. Kasi ang sakit din, di ba? Kung dumating na yung tamang tao, tapos ikaw yung toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Parang ang lungkot. So, yeah. I'd rather wait. Yeah. I'd rather wait and heal yeah. para ready na. Ang galing din ni Lord na parang how He has allowed you to, you know, go through those experiences. Hindi natin hinahangad na mangyari yun. At hindi rin natin hinahangad na mangyari yun sa ibang tao. Because those are difficult experiences. But the Lord has allowed you to go through that for you to see for yourself na, anak, ito yung hindi dapat. But right now, you are in a position where you see your friends, your, um, yeah, the couples that are surrounding you right now. Parang, the Lord is also giving you a glimpse of ito yun, at possible na magkaroon ka rin ng ganito. Although hindi ito perfect, and none of us are. Or even marriages. Marriages are not perfect as well. Pero at least makikita mo na possible pala na kayong dalawa ng partner mo are striving to have a healthy relationship that is biblically anchored. Kasi kahit anong away, anong miscommunication and all that, alam natin kung sino ang babalikan natin. And that is the Lord. And that is His Word. And you're right. When you are so deep into your intimate relationship with the Lord, haabot ka nga sa punto na parang, Lord, ang sarap na ng relationship natin. Okay lang kahit wala na. <laughs> Pero hindi ho kami papayag na itong gandang ito ay hindi ho matatransfer sa next generation. <laughs> so ipagdadasal natin yan. If, um, if there is a, maybe, not naman an advice, but maybe um, a lesson also that you have learned from, you know, your um, depression season. Um, anong, anong pwede mong ma-share sa, sa audience natin? Ano ba Depression in relation to relationships or depression in general? Yeah, in general. Um, siguro the biggest lesson that I've learned is may reason lahat. Yeah. Kasi if I didn't have depression, if hindi ako, hindi ako binagsak ulit ni Lord, siguro ang laki ng ulo ko talaga ngayon, mm-hmm. Ati mm-hmm. Siguro ang yabang ko ngayon. Yeah. Siguro I was still relying on my own strength. Yeah. Because dumating ako sa point na ang thinking ko is, kaya ko lahat. Yeah. Feeling ko, 
if you work hard for it and if you really want it very hard enough, it will be yours. Yeah. And I worked like that. Yeah. But guess what? It didn't work mm -hmm. because I'm not perfect. Yeah. I'm flawed. Hindi ako ganon ka strong. Mm -hmm. And there will dadating at dadating yung time na magfeel ka. Yeah. And nahirapan ako dun. So I needed to be humbled. Yeah. Kinailangan kong mawala lahat ng strengths ko para ma-realize ko yung weakness ko mm -hmm. para nun kumuha ko ng strength yeah. from the Lord. Kasi at yeah. the end of the day, siya lang talaga yung makakapag-provide ng strength sa atin. Walang perfecto. Kahit yung pinakabanal na tao oh, yeah. siguro. Yeah. May weaknesses and kailangan pa rin sa Lord. Yeah. To those people who want to have a deeper relationship with the Lord, um, anong masasabi mo sa kanila? If you want to have a deeper relationship kay Lord, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kasi that desire is something eh. Yeah. Hold on to that desire to get to know Him. Yeah. Doon ako nag-start. Ang dami kong ginawa. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. Adivi, you know that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Witness ka dyan. And yeah. isa ka sa mga naka-witness talaga ng faith journey ko, lalo na nung hindi pa ganito. Um, just let God do His work. Yeah. Pero yun nga, continuously seek Him. Yeah. Pa rin. And it helps. Practical. Siyempre, practical also. Um, surround yourself with, around, surround yourself with people who know Him. Yeah. And pray to Him. And when I say pray to him, hindi yung yung mababangong words. Yeah. Hindi yung magagandang words. Minsan you need to just be real. Yeah. Kung nahihirapan ka, sabi mo, Lord, ang hirap naman. Yeah. Mga ganun, lalo na if you're going through depression or if you're going too hard, through a hard time. Yeah. Just be real with him because that's what he wants. Yeah. Gusto niya ng... Totoo ka sa kanya. He wants you to have a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And that takes vulnerability. Yeah. So pag vulnerable ka, pati yung sama ng ugali mo, yeah. pwede mo pakita sa kanya. Yeah. And he will accept you as you are. Yeah, that's so good. At the end of the day, the Lord knows our hearts. He knows our thoughts and even the words that we have not said yet. Yes. Pero minsan kasi parang akala natin may... Parang kailangan ko ayusin ang dasal ko para acceptable sa kanya. Whereas kahit naman hindi mo pa sinasabi, alam niya na kung ano yung laman ng puso mo. So sabihin mo na lang kasi mas, pag mas totoo, mas nakikita rin natin sa sarili natin na, o nga no, I, I just have to verbalize what I feel pala. In fact, mas maganda na naririnig ko kung ano yung dumi ng nasa loob ng puso ko. Um, siguro pang huli na lang. What's your vision now, and what are you looking forward to in the next and in the near future? Um, siguro yun pa to grow deeper mm -hmm. in relationship with the Lord, to serve more people. Yeah. Um, kasi nga you'll find out. Kasi yung buhay ko talaga at evina bago. Yeah. Since nung naging malalim yung relationship ko with Him. Yeah. And when you feel that grateful, that joyful, mm. you just want to pass it on. Parang gusto mong, sana mas marami ding tao yung maka-experience nito. Mm. Um, especially, of course, my family, ganyan, mm. yung mga taong nakabaligid sa akin. And that's actually why I'm here. Mm. Nakakatakot. Nakakatakot mag-share ng, ng yeah. experience, ng story mo. Yeah. But but that's why I'm here. Yeah. Because sino who knows kung may isa lang may isa lang na taong ma-touch yeah. or maka-relate sa story na to, happy na ako. Yeah. So yun ang, ang ang vision talaga natin. And we're still praying na yun nga ma-break yung cycle yeah. ng broken marriages yeah. in the family. And we'll be praying for that. Yeah. Kung hindi ibigay na Lord, maybe that's His will. But if it happens, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the happiest when it happens. Yeah. And I'm willing to wait. <laughs> yes, there is, there is a blessing in, in waiting. 
Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you so much, really, from the bottom of my heart and from on behalf of, of our team, maraming salamat for trusting us with your story. Alam ko hindi madali at alam ko rin na baka isa to sa mga first, you know, public uh, sharing of your story. And I know that you have shared a lot in the church, pero to share it with people who are not yet part of the church or people who are probably going through um, the same things that you have went through in the past, sobrang laking blessing mo sa amin. Maraming salamat. Thank you then for helping with the vision mm-hmm. and mission. <laughs> Sa susunod, welcome ka pa rin dito at uh, kung ano man ang plans ni Lord for you. We are here. This platform is here. Um, you can join us again and share whatever it is that the Lord is doing in your life. Who knows? Baka may kasama na next baka time. Kaya nga may, uh, may bakante dyan eh. <laughs> Pangdalawahan talaga yan eh. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Adivy. Thank, Thank you. you. Three takeaways for the past two episodes. Number one, life is an open story. Life is full of twists and turns. Embrace life's uncertainties because it means that your troubles are temporary and there's always hope for a better tomorrow. Allow God to write your story according to his purpose and for his glory. Number two, learn from the past. Our past doesn't define who we are. Let the lessons of the past bring you to a better path. Focus on the things that can change in the present, like making the right decisions or correcting your mistakes. Number three, only God can change. It is not by works that we have been saved, but by the grace, and it is by the same grace that we experience new life. If faced with trials and difficult situations, don't rely on your own strength to get through them. Turn to God for wisdom, guidance, and protection. But be prepared to listen and to surrender everything to the Lord. I'd like to say hi to all the singles that attended the Commit Big Leadership Conference. Here's the snippets to that retreat. That's it for this episode. We will have a holiday break. We will see you next year. Ako po si Ati V, always here to listen and to think things through with you. This is the Major Major Podcast with Venus Ra. The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia, the hosts of the program, or other programs of the network. 
Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.